Hi everyone, my name is Rachel with the Marks Group Live and I am here today to teach you um, activities, events, and calls in the Zoho CRM. Um, this is the third video in our activities series. Um, the first video goes over what the activities module is. Um, the second video goes over tasks and today we are going over events and calls. So please feel free to check out the other videos in our series um, if you have other questions about activities. I also want to let you know um, that you can feel free after this video to give us a contact if you have any questions at support at marksgrouplive.com. Um, you can feel free to drop us an email and one of our trainers will get back to you ASAP. Um, please check out our video library which has um, all the other videos about anything Zoho, anything related to Zoho, Zoho One. Um, if you have any questions or there's things that you don't see there that you have questions about or want to learn more about, also please feel free to drop us a line. Um, after this video, if you don't mind rating, rating our video, uh, this will help us to improve our ever-growing video library and also help other Zoho users to find us. Okie dokie, let's get started um, on going over what we're going to do today. Um, so today the main takeaways of this class are how do you schedule an event, how do you schedule a call? Um, and how can you integrate events and calls with your Zoho calendar? Um, and a little bit on how you can uh, integrate that calendar with other calendars you might use, maybe a GCal or an Outlook calendar. All right. So let's get to it. Here we are on our Zoho homepage. Um, I like to let people know we use um, Zoho One. Uh, if you use another version of Zoho Plus, um, things might look a little bit different, but as far as um, what we're going over today, everything should be pretty much the same. Um, so in our first activities and best practices video, we went over about how we really recommend at Mark's Group Live that if you're creating an activity, you create it from the record itself and not from the activities module. Um, so today to create our events and our calls, I'm going to just pick one of our contacts and start from there. So I'm heading to the contacts module. And um, let's see, it's loading. Let's give it a minute. And I will go ahead and click on Jane Jones. And uh, that will be the person that we are going to create an event with today. I'll put this list to the side and I'm going to scroll about halfway down the page. And that will take us to our activities portion. Um, you can see there are two options, open activities and closed activities. Um, closed activities are obviously activities that have been completed already. Um, so today we're going to start by creating a new event here in the open activity. So you'll click on the blue new event button. And um, this will give us a chance to create a new event. So just a brief overview of what an event is. Um, an event is anything you are doing face to face or maybe the, over the internet um, with a client. A meeting maybe, maybe it is a trade show, maybe it is... Um, you know, a follow-up on, you know, information about a deal, that would qualify as an event. So I'm going to call this the quarterly review, you know, to go over this client's particular deals. Um, you can choose your location. When you click on the location, it will automatically um, populate with, the address of this client's business. I think Miss Jones here doesn't actually have an address populated into her record because this is a test environment. Um, but you can certainly write, um, I'll write conference room A for this one. Um, you know, but you can write your location, you can write their location. You also have the opportunity to make this an online meeting. If you were to do that, it would automatically go through Zoho Meeting, which is a join.me or a Zoom or a Skype type program that's powered through Zoho. So, conference room. Look at that. I spelled conference wrong. All right. So, next we'll go on to 
to discuss when this meeting is going to happen and what time. You can certainly mark an all-day meeting. This will block out your calendar for the whole day. Um, I'll choose the date as next, uh, next week. Oh, interesting. So as you can see here, I have another meeting scheduled. Uh, it ends at 1 p.m. So that is really a helpful little tool that Zoho has. If you have schedules that are overlapping, it will tell you. So that meeting ends at 1. So I'll end this start meeting this start this meeting at 2 and have it go from 2 to 4. Next, you can choose the host. It'll automatically populate whatever your user is, but if there's someone else that's hosting the meeting, you can click on the drop down button and search the different users in your company. You can go ahead and add participants. So if you click on the add participants button, it'll automatically show you any contacts that are related to the account that that particular contact is related to. So we have Joe and Jane Jones. I'll go ahead and click on both of them. You can also go ahead and show contacts that don't have an email in the record that doesn't exist for this particular client. And you can also invite other emails. So if you have people outside of um, your Zoho contacts, you can add emails in here. All you have to do is type them in and separate them with a comma, kind of like you would do in any email server when you're adding multiple emails to a uh, email. Go ahead and click done. This will relate um, this event. It's already related to the contact of, the, uh, of Jane Jones because we are um, making it directly from her record. This is another reason why it's great to make contacts from the records directly. It also auto populates the account, which is Joe Jones Ski Shop, which is the account that Jane Jones is related to in our Zoho CRM. You can choose if you want to repeat this, um, this particular event. You can choose if you want to repeat it every day, every week, every month, every year, or something more customized. I'm not gonna do that for this event, but that option is here. Maybe you have a weekly meeting with someone and you want it to repeat. I'm gonna click on add more details in the corner and, and it'll show you the, the few more details we can add in the event. You can write a description. Um, this is our meeting to review new products. And then you can set a reminder for this meeting. These reminders, you have two choices. You can obviously set how often you want them to remind you. So I'll say 30 minutes before. And then you can set multiple reminders. I'll say 15 minutes before and 10 minutes before to remind me to get my butt over to the conference room and uh, get ready for this meeting. These reminders will show up in the bottom right-hand corner. If you see the activities reminders, it's a little um, alarm clock. Mine has two reminders right now. Um, and it'll pop up right there. I'll go ahead and save that. And then it'll ask me if I want to send invitations to guests. It will send them via email, inviting them to this um, event. I'm not going to send because these are fake email addresses, so they'll just get bounced back. But I think it's good practice to certainly send an email. All right. So now you see it in my open activities. We have our quarterly review. I'm going to get to the calendar at the end after I schedule a call um, and I will show you where else this will show up. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to schedule a new call. So if you look up here, you have the new events in the open activities. You also have the opportunity to create a new call. I'll go ahead and click on that. And there's a couple of different options with calls. Um, if you have used the Zoho phone bridge to connect your phones to your Zoho account, if you schedule or if you make an outgoing call to a client, it will automatically, you can do it through create call. So what you do is you do new call, subject, follow up, um, what's the call purpose. These are automatically programmed out of the box. If you feel the need to write them in, you can. I'll say this is an administrative call. It's related to the Joe Jones 
Ski Shop account because we're making the call right from Jane Jones's record. It's an outbound call because what we're doing is we're calling this a current call. And if I scroll down here a little bit, let's see, can you see it? Um, I want to make sure you can see it on my screen here. Yep. You can go ahead and click start calling and it'll automatically dial the call for you. Um, I'm going to say this call was rejected because again, <laughs> Jane Jones doesn't have her own uh, real phone number in there. It's the fake account. Um, and automatically once that call ends, it will go into the close activities. If you can see the follow up right there. Let me show you the other two options on how to create a call. So just again, if you connect your phone with the phone bridge, you can make calls from your phone from Zoho right now, or from Zoho, from the record. The other two options are making a completed call or scheduling a call. A completed call you would, you know, create after you talk to a client. Um, you know, we'll call this, we'll call this a meeting prep. Um, the call purpose is again, administrative. It's already related to the account. This time you can choose if it was an inbound or an outbound call. Did they call you or did you call them? Say it was inbound. And it'll allow you to say when, when the call started. So maybe she called me yesterday at 10.30 and we talked for 30 minutes. Um, we discussed information for upcoming meeting and then you can choose a call result this is a small text box um, I don't necessarily find it that helpful unless there's something succinct you want to write in here um, but I'll say meeting was confirmed and then you can go ahead and save it and that will also automatically go to your closed activities now the last thing is if you have a scheduled call, this is a call, again, you write the subject, I'll call this a check-in, call purpose, you know, administrative again. Um, the call type is automatically going to be an outbound call because you are scheduling to make this call. You can schedule when this is happening, I'll say it's on the 26th at uh, 11 a.m. Zoho will put a little green dot if you indicated what the best time to contact a client is. So that's helpful. And I'll say um, check in about orders. You can choose when you do a schedule call who the owner of this call is. So it will automatically populate with your account. Um, but if you're scheduling this for someone else, you can search your users and certainly do that. And then just like an event, you can create a reminder. I'll say five minutes before to send me a reminder. I'll go ahead and save that. And it will be in my open activities because it has not yet happened yet. So the last thing I said I would talk about is a little bit about how these uh, events will look on your calendar. So up at the top right hand corner, um, you will see the little calendar icon. It looks like a calendar page with a 31 on it. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it will take you to the shortcut of your calendar. Now, anytime you see a day with something underlined on it, that means you have something scheduled, either a call or an event scheduled for that time. If you go ahead and click on that day, it'll take you right there. And as you can see, it has the check-in for the phone call that we just scheduled. If you were to click on that, it would take you to a shortcut of the event. You can change, you can reschedule right from your calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the monthly overview here. And again, here are all the things that we have scheduled. If you want, to look at maybe what other people in your company have scheduled. You can click on my events and calls up at the top and it will allow you to choose the different users you wanna see. 
you can search users. We only have two that are related to this training account, but it will allow you to look at uh, many different calendars here. It's a good way if you're having a meeting and want to schedule with multiple people, you have the option to do that. So as I said before, there is a way that you can sync this Zoho calendar with your GCal and your um, Outlook calendar or maybe any other third party um, site that you might use. Uh, we do have a third party um, integration class that goes over how to use many of these things. Um, but I will just let you know that you can sync your calendar that anything that you create in Zoho gets automatically uploaded to any other third party calendar you use or vice versa, anything from a third party calendar will sync to your Zoho calendar. And um, you know, that can make things really helpful for when you're scheduling things. So that is what I have for you today. So again, how do you schedule an event? How do you schedule a call? We recommend that you go straight to the record that you're scheduling these things for. Um, you scroll about halfway down the page and you can do a new event or new call from there and follow the directions um, pretty simply on how to fill out um, the information for that particular um, activity. And uh, those events and calls will show up on your calendar automatically. Um, and you can use that to you know, schedule your day and you can use that to uh, notify other people in the office when you have things going on. And uh, it's a really helpful tool so you can have the best productivity possible. So that's all I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, again, please reach out to support at marksgrouplive.com or you can email me at rachel at marksgroup.net. Um, again, please rate this video, rate and comment. If you have any other comments on how we can make this video better or on how we can... Um, you know, better serve your needs as far as your questions about Zoho, please, please, please reach out. Uh, and thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.